guys, it's Kathy. Welcome back. I am going to do a, um, I want to say it's, it's more of a Dutch pour. Uh, maybe a, the background is going to be some warm, <coughs> excuse me, uh, kind of coppery colors. And then I'm going to do the Dutch pour over it in more cool colors. Um, this is the plan. This is a 20 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas. And uh, I've got it taped and pinned and uh, we are ready to go. So first I'll uh, show you the colors. This is a combination of Prussian blue with a little bit of Payne's gray uh, by Amsterdam and then Liquitex black. Uh, the next is Modern Masters Black Cherry. It's a metallic, deep purpley red. It's really very cool. The next is Golden's Copper. And then there's um, Golden's Conacodome Nicolazzo Gold. And then... Um, it's white, it's one part Amsterdam white, and um, it's mixed with uh, a Jasonia pearl, uh, pearl, pearl medium, I believe it is, and also with Krista's mix rather than a Floetrol. There's that. Um, and then let me just start with that first and then I can show you the cooler colors after we do this. So here we go. Wish me luck. I'm starting with the, the Prussian blue and Payne's gray black. I'm going to kind of go corner to corner this way. To start. <laughs> and then I'll just dribble in the middle as well. <laughs> just, it's okay because the uh, the whole background here is, is going to be blown out uh, in a in a chaos pour before adding doing the Dutch pour. Okay. Copper. Conacronome, nickel as of gold here. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just going to kind of drizzle little bits of white here. cherry. Um, and the Prussian blue with black and Payne's gray in the corner. Conacodome nickel as a gold. Again. Okay. And definitely the white through here. Okay. I want to kind of follow that line for the Dutch pour. I should have made more paint. Why don't we always do this? <laughs> I get ahead of myself. Keep wanting more, more paint.
with the Prussian blue. It actually looks black, but there's a whole lot of blue tones in it. At least I'm using up all these paints. Um, all of these are leftover paints except for the Prussian blue and the uh, black cherry. torch it. I did mix everything up yesterday, so they it's been sitting and settling. So I don't see any air bubbles coming up, which is good, but just in case. out. They usually dried up pieces of paint uh, or glue or Floetrol, but I always strain Floetrol. So, but that doesn't mean the little goobers can't get in there. They do. Or a lot of times they're hairs or pieces of dust that get in there. Pinky blow dryer, it will be on high, on cool. Uh, always keep it on cool, otherwise you can burn the paint.
that's rather cool on its own, but um, <laughs> this is just going to be the background, kind of, sort of. Maybe it's a, a Dutch pour on top of a Dutch pour, chaos pour, Dutch pour on top of it. Right now I'm just picking up all the drippings here and touching up uh, little bald spots that sh the, canvas, the canvas shows through on. Oh, I wish you could see all the drippings here. They're actually really pretty. <laughs> well, if there's enough, I can do a little painting afterwards with them. We shall see. Anyway, so just want to have all the uh, the edges. This is a one and a half inch edge uh, on the gallery wrapped canvas, and I want to have that covered. Uh, not only does it look better to not have canvas showing through, but you want to be able to have it wet so uh, the paint will flow off of the edge. You want it to flow smoothly and not, you know, get stuck where it, it won't move, you know, past the edge. So right here, there's, there's not much paint. So... Those are really cool drippings. <laughs> Who knew that fluid artists we could be so excited about paint drippings? But that's the bunch of people we are. We just like that stuff. Okay. A little more over here, and then we can start on the cooler colors. Down. I'm just going to check if there's any more goobers in the paint. Looks like I scraped over that a little bit. That'll be all right. Okay, uh, so the cooler colors, blues and magentas, I'm going to put through here are Liquitex Cobalt Blue with a little bit of light blue in it. Hope you can see that. Uh, there's also Prison Pour Blue Velvet. I just love this color. It's just gorgeous. And then there's Amsterdam's Quinacridone Magenta, to which I've added a little bit of Amsterdam Permanent Red Violet, which is a little bit darker. Um, <laughs> the next one is uh, Primary Elements by Color Art Frisia. And that looks kind of gray and awful, but uh, it's actually kind of a blue-green with this amazing violet shift. You can't really see it too well until it dries. Next is, this is leftover pale Prussian blue with white. I don't know what it's mixed with uh, because it's been left over. I just kind of freshened it up. It's a pretty color, so we'll use that. The next one is, um, what is this? It's by Eye Candy. It's a uh, pigment. It's called Ghost Blue. Basically looks white, and as I recall, it's when it dries, it's this really kind of an electric blue, but it's, it is ghosty. It's kind of wispy, uh, a little translucent white with it. And after that is... Uh, it's just regular Artist Loft white mixed with Amsterdam white, um, which I might just put on top. I might use what I had here. They're mixed a little differently, but pretty much the same. So I'm going to start with the Liquitex Cobalt Blue. God, I almost hate to do this. This is so pretty, just as it is. Okay, well, this is an experiment, so here we go. Beautiful, brilliant color. And then I love this prison pour blue velvet. Just one of my favorite. Of course, I'm a sucker for blue colors. I just 
can't go wrong with blue. Usually. <laughs> There's always those days. Next is the Amsterdam Conacrodome Magenta. And then this cool Primary Elements Frisia. Looks like a ghosty light blue, but it has this really nice color shift in it. Okay, and then this really leftover pale Prussian blue. And then here is the Ghost blue. Okay. And uh, white on top. Again, I will torch it, although I don't see air bubbles. You're safe, it's hard. Okay. different, isn't it? Um, anyway, so it's kind of what I was going for, more of earthy tones in the background and then this nice blue in the front, a uh, little cooler tones. So uh, combination chaos, nebula, Dutch pour, I guess, but I'm loving how this black chair, it's getting some little cells in it. I love the wispies coming off of the white, and uh, I can't really tell, this looks like the little ghost blue is in here, but we really aren't gonna be able to tell that too much, <clears throat> excuse me, until, uh, until it's dry. I'd like to have this come this way a little more. I'm not sure if the paint will come down.
that. I'm not sure if my experiment worked with the cool colors against this, but um, it's not bad. Um, I'm thinking I could do another one where it's the background is more blended with these colors. But as I was doing it, I liked so much how this looked. I thought I'd leave it in. So I'm just looking at composition now and seeing what else I might need to do. I'll try to get as much paint off as possible. I don't want it to sit there being too thick. Don't like that. Hopefully I can blow that off a little. A couple little areas I can tweak. Um, let's see. with this a lot more but it, it will get muddy a little bit of muddiness in here but um, I like how that quinacridone nickel as a gold looks in there oh I had so much paint that dripped off the side um, let's see all right so I'm just going to Kind of tweak little bits here to, like right here, maybe just give it a little smoother edge. Have it blend in a little better with the composition. I mean, it's easy to do this forever too, but uh, I don't want to do that. Okay, well, while I'm doing this, uh, there are a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of cell activity that's going on. Just want to, you'll have to pardon the noise, it's my, my gardeners are here today, blow drying things, just like I am. <laughs> Except they're blow drying all the leaves. This is kind of cool. It's, I can see how translucent that is. It looks really pretty. And in here too, I think that's the ghost blue and maybe that freesia as well. I'd be really interested to see how it dries with those uh, color shift paints in it. Very translucent. Funny little white wispy lines here and there. Okay, I think I'm good to go rather than wasting more of your time while I stand here fiddling about. Uh, I am going to go ahead and scrape the edges uh, to keep the paint from falling off and losing composition. And I will bring you down for the wet result. Here are the wet results. I had to do a few more changes. I wanted to get more paint off of the canvas. Um, I think I got enough off. It kind of looks like three Dutch pours at once. I don't know. It's a very unusual idea. Uh, I may be fiddling around with this type of thing again. I'm not sure. Uh, I like it, but I'm kind of 
on the fence about it too. I, I don't know what to think. At any rate, let's go down and get a close up, a little flyby here, starting in the center. Um, and once you see that blue and uh, the translucence quality, I believe that is the ghost blue, but also there is the freesia in there. That, um, let's see if I can find it here. <laughs> They will show up better when it's dry, those uh, color schist paints. Anyway, there's a lot of beautiful translucent blending uh, with not only the, the, the blue colors, but with the darker black cherry and that earthy. I mean, look at that. I just love that. It's like otherworldly planet or something. I don't know, a very pretty combination. Here is the freesia, I think, right through here. That light blue and a translucence. And I love this splash of white. Well, that looks like a little fox right there on the left. Ears, eyes, nose. Anyway, uh, a little fox cloud in the middle of that. The black cherry is a metallic, and I know you couldn't see that when I first poured it, but now you can. And of course, it's um, a lot of blending with the copper as well, which is a metallic. Look at all the little lines here coming together. I like this little wispy part right in there, how that blends. And then that's that dark sky behind it. And then the white bringing in light behind the clouds. Looks like a, a black cloud. And this part here, kind of like an explosion in the corner. Maybe it's a supernova. I, mean, I just love the blending on this. Now you can see the, uh, I think that's the ghost blue. Let's see how that makes that little ghosty white film over the other colors. That's a nice effect to get. There it is again, if that's what you're looking for. Anyway, get up to this corner here. Is my little experiment for the day here. I hope you like it. I'm still wondering about it. It's just uh, it's a little different than what I had in mind, but uh, it's interesting. It does remind me of uh, like supernovas or uh, the dust in space that you see on the Webb telescope. They make these wonderful shapes and lights and shadows. So I was kind of going for that, but I wasn't sure what to expect. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you like this. If you like, if you did, please leave a like and a subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you'd like to be notified of future videos. And take care of yourself. Be well. Be happy. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. All right, so here this is dry. I'm very happy with the results here. There's lots of bling and lots of blending. Uh, it looks like a supernova or the Big Bang or something with all these different colors. Um, I think it worked though. We've got the background splashes there with that quinacridone and the copper and then this blue and the white right through the middle. Um, it's a surprising composition. I wasn't really intending it to be so dramatic. Um, I was going to have the background be a little more blended, but when I started to blow it out, I liked the way it looked, so I'm keeping that, so I don't know. What do you think? Big Bang, 
supernova. Or just a wild Dutch pour. Anyway, uh, this is not varnished yet, so you can't really get to the full effect of the bling that is in there, mostly from the copper. Anyway, I, I love the composition with it. It's a little different. I like different, so that's fine with me. I hope you like this too. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care and be well. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.